a very good evening to you all. How's things? Good evening. Who do we have on? Hello, Kells. How's things? My little darling. Hello, Alison, Linda. My little tribe. Dino, hope you're well. All right, Phil. Good evening. Just a little catch up. Again, we didn't get uh, too much recording done over the weekend. Um, the actual second part of the session on Friday night at Stanley Palace, the battery pack died, so it didn't upload. So there was about three odd hours there. So we missed out on that. Hello, Claire. Claire, what date do we have in for developments? I'm just going to check anyway. Hi, uh, Lisa, Hells, Sarah, Tina. Lack of a cameraman, it definitely was young man. But uh, my good friend Alison has invited you down to any future events to help me out there. But we've had some amazing pictures on from Markham Castle. <clears throat> right, okay. Let's send over some healing, Kells. So, yeah, we had a great night, Stanley Palace. And again, I started off a week last Monday, written everything down in the envelope for the invest at Stanley Palace. And I've written everything down uh, that I thought was going to come around and put stuff on the outside of the envelope as well. And loads of things tied in on the night that I'd written down last Monday came around and about. Uh, there was actually like two pages worth of stuff. And we had cl clarification of that as well. So we had loads of stuff come around and about from Stanley Palace. So I gave that to Dave, who's on the radio later on, and I said, stick that in your pocket till the end of the investigation and open it up at the end, and loads came around and about, which is always good validation from spirits. Uh, and my team and my guides talking to me before and invest as well. So um, obviously there's always a lot of protection up where they go on invests as well. Good evening. And this is the one that came around and about, the witch came around and about on Saturday night as well, down at, Mar at uh, Woodchester Mansion, just backtracking, see there. Yeah, that's fine, I'll have a little look. So I'm just gonna check the dates, that's all. Hi Leslie, nice to catch up with you. Hi Nicola, again, so a great, great validation and just getting on getting on with things and obviously a lot of miles covered as well so yesterday I think I got back about seven o'clock in the morning um, which is obviously it, it, it's a long it's a long round trip but worth every minute of it as well so this up and coming Saturday I'll be at uh, with Spook Seekers if anyone wants to join me there go on to their page on Facebook uh, unless it's sold out. Uh, it's obviously Thackeray Medical Museum in Leeds. So I will be there this coming Saturday. And again, it's just been, I haven't done a lot of lives on here or any card readings. It's just been, I've been that really busy the last three or four weeks. Uh, as again, it's just a busy time of year. So anyone got any questions? Again, I want to have a little tune in. Dave, who I was with on Friday night, he's on search radio at nine o'clock so I have shared that on my page so give them the, give that a little listen as well and see if we can interact there as well uh, so have a little look the supernatural show with Dave Varanzi uh, and again have a little look at that so that's what you're looking for have a little listening to that at nine o'clock 
Yeah, I was on there a few weeks ago. Well, we'll be back on there in June, I think, the start of June. Hi, Janice, the lady. Bunch of keys. Well, interesting enough, Janice, the, one of the photographs we put on, there was quite a few ladies that, that was captured on uh, normal camera as well. So, uh, hi Helen, Vanessa, first time watching. Yeah, just a little catch up, to be honest, Vanessa, of what, what I do Friday night and Saturday. So basically I usually put the videos up on Gary Fields Raw Paranormal and the YouTube page, but I lost a lot of footage on Friday night through well, battery pack dying basically. But uh, if you don't save it and upload it, Hello Vicky, and uh, you're doing really well to keep up. Hi Linda, keep up the good work out there. So hopefully, again, I've had some lovely feedback from uh, Friday and Saturday night, which is what it's all about, and a lot of interaction as well. And to say it was cold for Saturday night was an understatement. I don't think I've ever been to Woodchester Mansion and been warm yet. So even by the gate when we were greeting people on Saturday night, me and Aaron could hear rustling and everything. I was like, there's no way, that's not even a little animal scurrying around in the hedgerow. Because um, as soon as I said, did you hear that? I, I was drawn to a chap, um, again, handling a lot of money as well. So when we turned around, it just stopped. So that was quite bizarre, because if it was an animal, it would carry on scurrying away as well, which it wasn't. So, had some good interaction as well. Uh, I'll be out Wednesday night. So, I've really got two evenings to myself this week. So, that's much needed. So, you can all have a little look on uh, Raw Paranormal. If you can subscribe as well as share, that'd be great. Uh, don't ask, often ask uh, people to do that. But have a little look. It's freezing, is it? Okay, I've got the control on there, that uh, should be all right. Hello, Elizabeth. So, there's fiber optic, so it shouldn't really be freezing. Might be my little mate, Alison, as per usual, playing, playing up. Uh, hopefully, I'm off for two weeks on Friday, so I'll look forward to doing some cards as well. Yeah, definitely, and good news, car past the MOT, so that takes a lot of hustle and bustle away from sorting things out, so uh, I still keep flying around here, there and everywhere. I've got loads of little invests I want to do, so I will be doing more pop-up investigations, so we'll look forward to that as well. And it's all about keep getting out and about there as well, and, and you know, I'd like to thank the public as well for their support, and taking all these photographs as well and little videos and they're catching everything as well so it, it's always great no Woodchester's Alison you need to book Woodchester for the middle of the summer all right and there uh, Alison's got I think Bodmin Moor Bodmin Jail coming up if anyone's not been there get down to that invest and uh, we do have the ancient ram in coming along soon so anyone's not been there have a look up, little look on Go Seekers Wales as well and come and join us. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly been since last half term, it's been it's flown by, but it's uh, the last three or four weeks has been really, really, really busy. Again, we've had some amazing evidence and amazing photographs as well. Hello, Wendy. Lee Simons uh, anyone got any questions as well as I said I will be doing cards and some readings over the Easter week uh, Easter couple of weeks in it and I'm also again on the radio of Redshift Radio on the 9th of April at 12 o'clock love to see the cards yeah they're, they're all tucked away at the moment Yeah, they're all in there. They're all away at the minute. Nice to meet you too as well, Wendy. And again, if you check out Gary Fields Raw Paranormal on YouTube, and again, I'll always interact and share people's work and 
that's what it's about as well anyone got any questions Hello Tracy. Any questions? Sixth uh, of April. I will be up at uh, the old vicarage in Wakefield. And the fifth of April, I will be going along to an investigation. St John's House Museum in Warwick so that's what I'll be doing on the 5th and the 6th so what's the oldest spirit that you've picked up on I've got a great face for radio Phil you must have to come along and join me then young man because the haircut I seen on you from younger years was uh, unbelievable as well what's the oldest spirit I've came across <laughs> well I can safely say me nan um, she obviously passed when she was 88 and if she was on this plane today she'd be about 105 so my nan's up there at about 88 and I've came across a few characters of where was it Morgan uh, you get a few old energies that and souls like life of souls of peoples and characters that's lived before as well so sometimes you can go back in time with what they were in past times as well so um, I think we had an old pirate at Margum who just virtually popped in from nowhere. He dated back to the 1400s, so age-wise I'd say about 88, but century-wise I've had many a character going back from uh, Pagan and, uh, God, 400s, 500s, back to the year dot, basically. The Mohican one, that's the one, Linda. Go on his page and screenshot it and share it on here for me, Linda. And then he won't give me any more stick. I'll have you, Mr. Mr. Johnston. Yes, I'm fine. I'm all good. Couldn't be better. A uh, little bit all over the show yesterday. Basically, it's like coming off shifts or coming off nights sometimes when you've been on investigations. Uh, so it's like a four or a five, 500 mile round trip or... Stuff like that with your Friday investigation as well. Yeah, I've got, I'll just put it up for you. There's over 500 videos of like pre catch ups with before I've gone and invests, and uh, three or four videos of the night. So there's about four or 500 on there now, and I'll just show you. So if you go on to Raw Paranormal. It'll look like that. That's Gary Fields Raw Paranormal. There's over 500 videos on there. And again, you've got lovely Newsham Park in the background. So you can have a little look and what I try and do, as you know, bring people in from that sat at home that can't get out and about and 